the daily broadcast that spotlights what's happening virtually at the best elementary school in the city of Atlanta. We are in phase two of online learning due to the current coronavirus pandemic. We hope everyone is staying safe by covering your mouth when you cough or sneeze, washing your hands frequently for at least 20 seconds, and practicing social distancing as we are doing today. Well, this week promises we will be high spirit. Oh, yes. This week is virtual spirit week. On Monday, our future was bright. We woke up bright and early and put on our favorite pair of shades or sunglasses. On Tuesday, it was game day. We had numerous lions re representing their favorite college or professional team. On Wednesday, it was backwards day. We woke up early and ready for school, but we made sure we put our clothes on backwards. And on today, it is Halloween in April. Yep, that's right. I said Halloween in April. Wow, are you ready for this? Today we are wearing our favorite Halloween costume to virtual class. And lastly on tomorrow is Usher Pride Day. Show your Usher pride by wearing school colors, school shirts, or other school paraphernalia. While we can't wait to get back to school, it is so very important that we do what is necessary to stay safe. That means we will not be returning face-to-face -face for our school for the rest of the school year. But that does not mean that we will stop learning virtually. And that's why I'm so glad that we still have technology resources to help us get through this temporary pandemic. Yup, this is temporary if we stay positive, stay safe, and stay home. Students, please be reminded to get online daily to complete our assignments for our core subjects and specials classes. This is cool because we get to see our classmates and teachers that we have been missing. Students refer to the schedules that our teachers are sharing in Google Classroom. During this time, more than ever, let's remember to be mindful of social emotional learning. This month's SEL book is What Do You Do With an Idea by Kobe Yamada. This is a story for anyone, any age, whoever had an idea that seemed a little too big too odd or difficult. It's a story to inspire you to welcome that idea, to give it some space to grow, and to see what happens next, because your idea isn't going anywhere. Please be reminded that weekly food pickups will happen on Mondays only. Bus delivery will still take place from 10 a.m. to noon. Thanks for tuning in, and have a great day of teaching and learning.